Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Workout Wednesday with Dr. Vaughn. Miguel Cervantes, the cerebral. cerebral fitness trainer. Yes, yes, yes. Today, this is a follow up video uh, broadcast from two weeks ago when someone asked about the best exercise for triceps. And apparently, it got Miguel kind of all hot, hot, hot and bothered <laughs> under the collar. So, we're, let's not suspend like, the labor. What is the best exercise to work out your triceps, Miguel? Mm -hmm. There isn't one. They're, they're not surprised at all. There is no. It's funny because the, the article I got. Wait, hold on. There's no. There's no best exercise for anything. Should should people even be exercising? There's their no best anything for anything, really. There's no best. We're anything. also different and unique. There's no. We're built differently. I just got uh, an article in an email yesterday from a gentleman I follow, and it's this is saying the same thing. We decided to talk about this two weeks ago at right. the end of the broadcast. There's no best of anything. There just isn't. Whatever your goals are, we'll figure something out and we'll we'll go from there. Meet nice. people where they're at. But to work your triceps is so... Um, so do you think it's a mistake that patients are starting off, um, maybe they're, they're, you know, overweight or they just had weight loss surgery and they go to the gym and they sit there and do skull crushers and Yeah, there should not be an arm day. There should not people be... People are still day. doing that, like arm day, leg day, uh, chest day... Uh, it's just uh, Why not? It's not worthwhile because, first of all, to get any sort of effect from that, it's going to be way too much volume. Okay, it's too it's too much for you to handle right off the bat. So too much volume right off the bat. Yeah. To break it down. I mean, to like I mean, a board. bodybuilder can handle that much volume, and look what they go through. Their life revolves around That's building right. their muscles. That's the misperception about working out that I really hate. Um, when you see these fitness magazines, men's health, that sort of stuff, or you know, on my Facebook feed, there's this Beachbody, you know, commercial that comes on with like, you know, Sean T and all these like ripped people doing these exercises. But the average person can't do like that, can they? They can't start no, off. Oh like no! No, they'll get I, hurt. I mean, I consider myself like in pretty. I think I'm in a very, very, very good shape now. But back about before I had kids, like that's when I, you know, you're like, oh my god, I was so amazing before kids. I did that insanity program. program. I, I thought my Achilles were going to tear every time I took a step. I mean, it's brutal. And I was in pretty damn good shape. You're a trainer. It's not yeah. for... But it's not it's, for beginners. It's not like the individual's <laughs> fault. Every, my wife's doing the same thing. She bought this program. Yeah. And she because she likes the girl, she trusts her girl and all for all those reasons. But it's still on this body part split. And it's just... It's overload. And she's... Yeah. It's not, you're just like, oh, I'm so sore, I'm so sore. Of course, you're not going to listen to me, right? Yeah. But it, everything's geared toward and targeted towards drawing you to that. Well, it's the promise, Marketing right? It's the promise of the guns. The promise, yeah. Everyone loves the horseshoe on the back. Show your horseshoes. Do you have any horseshoes? Look at that, see? That. A ah, everybody wants to see that, man. Oh, so. <laughs> But it doesn't lead to overall health. Would you agree with that? Oh, absolutely not. No, it's yeah. just you, you're gonna break, you're gonna tear down that one body part. Yeah. So that it can rebuild, but unfortunately for ninety-nine point nine percent of us, it doesn't work out that way. So what you teach instead, and what we do is what's called you like to call it functional exercise. Functional whole body movement patterns. Yes. You know. You, and I, you what we have for your workout. There's going to be some form of. Of movement like that but mm -hmm. it's uh, not going isolated. to be tied in with lots of other things right we don't isolate it it's more comprehensive than in a heart and day trust me mm -hmm. yeah. so and we the get tricep this... is just such a tiny little muscle that in your arm your bicep your tricep I mean it's so tiny it's not gonna have much effect so on your whole body or your metabolism that actually is the main point of this <clears throat> broadcast the tricep is such a small muscle it's not going to add to your overall health you should not be spending time on it <laughs> If you are in watching me, you're most likely an obesity patient, maybe just had weight loss surgery, do not waste time on your triceps because what you're after is overall health. So what are other muscle groups that you should be working for your overall health, would you say? Muscle, yeah, gr groups, muscle systems, actually. Muscle systems, so like, like what? Pull, the muscles that pull or your posterior chain muscles, right? That That's probably the biggest focus. The big back muscles. The, the big muscles <laughs> behind you, which you ignore because you can't see them. Yep. Right? <laughs> Everybody wants to work the chest because right when you step in front of the mirror, right, you can just yeah. see that, guys, right? Your biceps, you can get immediate 
but you can't results from just a few exercises, mm. but they're not going to last. So pulling movements, um, lunging movements, your and thighs. And core, would you say? Like you're really well, all, yeah, move. exactly. Everything in my yeah. program now, all nine movements are designed to make you stabilize right, right. here. So you're going to feel. So it. if you feel like you're at the point where you can go to the gym, you really need to have a designed workout routine that is um, working on exercise systems, your body systems, not just one muscle group. Yeah, so that's a good takeaway. Yeah. Excellent. Let's see you back next week. We're going to go work out. <coughs> My boom. Cup. Every time someone says boom, we go boom. Mm. This is hot tea, by the way. Decaffeinated hot tea. So I'm on the no alcohol, no coffee challenge. So no more alcohol till December. I mean, till December. Shit. Oh. <laughs> so whoa <laughs> no to valentine's day and no coffee till may 1st february 1st which is tomorrow we're going to start the dr v diet challenge so that's a green smoothie for breakfast a salad a day a small dinner um your third meal is a small dinner eight to ten uh, bottles of water a day and no snacking for obesity patients the most important part is probably no snacking and then number two would be drinking water so try to work did i mention no no snacking. No <laughs> snacking. No snacking. Yeah. All right. So, um, oh, I have a video on why you should not work out after a weight loss surgery on YouTube uh, or on my fan page. So check that out. And that explains a lot of questions you guys are posting here about working out. I didn't say not to exercise. I said you have to know when to go back to exercise. And exercising right after weight loss surgery is not going to get the results you want. Cool. Hi, Omar. Focus on your strength. Hi, CJ Russell. Hi, hi, uh, Federico. I just have regular coffee. I got hot tea because I'm snobby like that. All right. Hot white you tea. Out. Ready for this? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> we're gonna work out. See you guys. Um, oh, tonight is Wisdom Wednesday, so we're gonna do Wisdom Wednesday. Wednesday, see for change. See y'all tonight. Bye now.